So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the colour gradient from another photo and apply it to your own. So I'm first going to find a picture that has nice colour grading. So I'm going to go to the stock studio and I'm going to type in sunset. And then I want to use this one, so I'm going to drag that over. And then I'm just going to resize it. And then I need to save that to my camera roll, so I'm going to go on export and then share and then save image. So then I'm going over to this website and I'll leave the link for it in the description. So I'm just going to click upload an image and I'm just uploading that picture I've just saved. And then when it's finished loading, you'll see it gives you these colours at the bottom. So all these colours are what is in this image. So then I'm going to screenshot that. And then I'm moving back over to Affinity. So I can delete that picture now. So then I'm going to the stock studio and I'm just finding a random picture I can use for this example. So I'm just going to type in model. And I want to use this one, so I'm just dragging that over. And then I'm just going to resize that. And then I'm going to bring in the screenshot I took. So I'm going to place and then place from photos. And I'm just going to move that into the corner. So basically I want these colours to be applied to this picture. So I'm going to go on the picture of the model and then go to the adjustment studio and I'm scrolling down to gradient map. So I've explained what gradient maps are in the last video but it's basically just an effective way to change the colours in your picture. So if I just click this little box you can see then you've got these three colours so you've got red, green and blue and the reds represent the shadows in the picture, the green is the midtones, and then the blue is the highlights. So then I'm just basically swapping these colours over to these ones. So because I've got five colours there, I need to make two more points, so I'm going to click on the plus sign. And then again, and now I've got five points. So I'm going to keep this one where it is, and I'm going to drag this one between the green and the blue. And then I'm going to put these colours in, going from darkest to lightest. So I'm going to start with the shadows, so I'm making sure I've clicked on the red. And then I'm going to click this and I'm dragging the colour picker tool. And I'm going to drag that over to the darkest colour. And then I'm going to move over to the second point. And then go to the next darkest. And then the middle one. And then the lightest. So now all of these colours have been applied to this image. And now I can just get rid of that screenshot. So I'm just going to delete it. And then while I'm on the gradient map adjustment, I'm going to click on the three dots and then I can change the blend mode to see what looks better. So I think I'm going to put it on overlay and then I can just bring down the opacity so it looks a bit more natural. But now I want to turn down the gradient map that's applied to the model, so I'm going to click on here image. And then I'm going to the selection persona, and then I'm using the smart selection brush. And with snapped edges on, I'm just going to make a selection around the woman. And 
and then I'm just going to refine the selection. I'm just going to paint over the woman's hair. And then I'm leaving the output on selection and I'm going to click apply. And then I'm going to go back to the photo persona. And then I'm clicking on the gradient map adjustment and then I'm going to the brush tool. And then I'm going to make sure the colour is on black and I'm going to turn down the opacity. Because I don't want to completely remove the gradient map, I just want it toned down a bit. And so then if I just paint over the woman, it'll remove the gradient map. And then when I'm happy with it, I'm going to just deselect. And so then I can just hide the gradient map so I can see the before and after and then I can still bring down the opacity if I want to change it. 